Greenhouses need clothes too. And just like people, the wealthy shop at Macy's for the fanciest, most expensive garments, and the rest of us go to Walmart, thrift store, or just recycle what we find on the side of the road. Simple Tech reviews five types of greenhouse coverings in this video. Transparent, translucent, durability, R-value, ultraviolet filtering, cost, and longevity are some of the things I'll go over for each type. If you're planning on building a greenhouse, this is information you're going to need, so stay tuned. First is glass, the oldest covering for greenhouses. Dating back over 500 years, glass greenhouses work and last. Single pane has little insulation value, but double and triple pane windows can get an R2 or better. Not huge, but it helps. Most glass is completely transparent. You can add ultraviolet filtering, but it doesn't usually come like that. Glass is brittle and breaks easy on impact, as we all know. Glass isn't cheap, especially if you have it made by a company specifically to fit sizes for your greenhouse. But glass greenhouses, when done right, look fantastic. It's the material choice when budget isn't an issue. Most government funded projects and high end commercial projects use glass. It lasts forever and always stays clear. If budget isn't an issue, you should seriously look into glass as a possible covering for your greenhouse. A lot of DIY greenhouses have recycled old windows to take advantage of making an affordable glass greenhouse. The only real problem other than cost is breakage. But it's not really a huge problem as glass windows in a greenhouse break about as often as the windows in your house. So unless there's a baseball team practicing nearby, you're usually pretty safe. Polycarbonate and acrylic sheets are the cheaper alternative to glass. Most aren't really very transparent, but for greenhouses, they are translucent. And that's all a plant really needs if the right light comes through. Very strong, probably the most durable option one can choose but they tend to have a lifetime of only 20 years before they degrade to the point where they don't let enough light through to keep your plants happy. Most panels are coated for ultraviolet light filtering and you can get single sheets, double wall and a multi wall right up to five or six chambers. Every time you add another layer of air chamber, you get better insulation, but there's a trade off as every layer reduces the light that can come through by about eight to 10%. So double wall polycarbonate will get about 82% of all light coming through, but a five wall polycarbonate sheet reduces light by about 40%. The sheets get more expensive the more air chambers you add. Most people use double wall for four season greenhouses. You can buy different sizes in the air chambers too, but that also affects the price. Double wall poly gets about the same R value as double pane glass, R2, and multi-wall gets much better depending on the number of walls and the size of the air gaps. These sheets are probably the best choice if you need a secure inside environment as polycarbonate is a solid material and difficult to break, much more difficult than glass to gain entry and some types of acrylic are actually bulletproof. There are piles of Chinese companies manufacturing polycarbonate and acrylic sheets today and the prices keep getting better every year because of the amount of competition in this marketplace. Poly and woven poly is by far the most affordable option to cover a greenhouse. Often poly rolls can be upwards of 10 times cheaper than polycarbonate sheets and more than 20 times cheaper than glass. That's why the majority of commercial and private greenhouses around the world today use rolls of poly to cover their plants. A recent invention is using two sheets of poly with the end secured and having an air blower inflate the space between them. This makes for an air gap, which is in actuality insulation and a six to 10 inch air gap can get upwards of R2 insulation. Imagine a plastic sheet getting the same insulation as double pane glass or double wall polycarbonate sheets for one tenth the price. That's why this material is the material of choice for so many greenhouses today. Poly can be coated for ultraviolet light and is quite translucent, although not very transparent. Poly's main downfall is the lifespan. Most manufacturing companies warranty their poly for three or four years, and users say it's hard to get much more than seven years out of an outside sheet exposed to the elements. One great advantage is wind resistance. Inflated poly acts like a pillow in the wind, absorbing the wind's force and dispersing it without damage, something single-layer poly can't do and other coverings often have trouble with. 
As long as you're willing to replace the poly every five to seven years, this is the most economical choice for a greenhouse covering that the majority of gardeners actually use. The next covering material is something manufactured by a private company and marketed specifically to greenhouses. Solex is a unique twin wall greenhouse covering material specifically formulated by a company called Adaptate Incorporated, the manufacturer of Solex greenhouses. When it comes to greenhouse plastic, Solex greenhouse panels surpass other covering choices in insulation, light quality, and longevity. The flexible panels are treated for ultraviolet light and the only real drawbacks is you have to use their installation hardware and the cost. Solex greenhouses are made with polyethylene. Polyethylene is much more flexible than polycarbonate and easier to cut. Polycarbonate panels tend to be thicker but have a lower insulation factor than polyethylene. Polyethylene diffuses light better than polycarbonate too. If you can afford it, Solex is a smart way to go. There are Solex greenhouses in use that are over 25 years old now. The lifespan is fantastic and might even be almost as long as glass, but with better insulation and light diffusion properties. The last option rarely thought of for greenhouses is clear corrugated panels. Not a traditional greenhouse covering, Corrugated panels can be bought at most big box hardware stores for very little money compared to other translucent hard panels. Often an eight by two foot long corrugated sheet that is 16 square feet can be purchased for about 20 bucks. And many are ultraviolet coated too. That's just over a dollar per square foot for a translucent hard covering. This opens up new ideas for covering a greenhouse in a strong solid material affordably. Mostly for DIYers, corrugated panels work, but the biggest problem is they only come a single pane. There's virtually no insulation value whatsoever. But depending on your location and or purpose for your greenhouse, using corrugated panels on your greenhouse might still be a viable option for you to consider as they have a lifespan that reaches into the decades. When we look at YouTube DIYers and what materials people are using these days in their greenhouse build videos, it clearly comes down to two choices. There's polycarbonate and double inflated poly. Although arguments could be made for the pros and cons of either, the reality is the choice is almost solely based on money. Double layer poly is the financially responsible choice for DIY greenhouse builders. But if you have the budget for it, polycarbonate seems to be the way to go. There is the odd greenhouse builder using recycled windows and they work, but new windows cost so much they don't seem to be an option. I've seen one builder use Solex so far, Big Little Brook Farm, and he's a reliable source and has good things to say about it, but there just isn't that many people on YouTube that have video documentaries of a greenhouse build with Solex yet. I'm sure as time goes on, that'll change as the stats say this is really the material of choice for the future. What's interesting is there is videos on corrugated panel greenhouses popping up now, as the construction price is really quite affordable on this rigid greenhouse covering. At the end of the day, price determines how we're gonna cover our plants. And like clothes, people always seem to choose the best material that they can afford. Thank you for watching my video of five different kinds of greenhouse coverings. I hope you find it useful and choose the best material to cover your plants. Personally, I hadn't heard of corrugated plastic until just now researching this video and suddenly I'm currently costing out how to cover one of my greenhouses with it. I found out about it on YouTube. I'm also thinking of ways to get an air gap with corrugated panels affordably. Hopefully that'll be a future video. Like most people, cost is an issue for me, but I also think long-term and I want something that can last over 20 years. There is an enormous amount of information on YouTube one can use to build a greenhouse on your own. The things you can learn are endless. The best way to get YouTube to suggest more videos like this is to talk to the YouTube AI telling it these are the kind of videos you want to watch and get the AI to suggest more videos like this for you to watch. How you do that is by doing something. Hit the like button, share the video, comment below. The YouTube AI watches what you do and it watches what you don't do. 
So when you tell the AI these are the kind of videos you want more of by hitting subscribe and the bell or leaving a comment below, you get the AI to suggest more videos just like this for you. You can actually outsmart the YouTube AI and make it work harder for you. I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.